What's up YouTube? PJ back with another video and lately I've been just admiring my car because the car it looks so good in the daylight. Look at it. And if you haven't watched my last video I've added my first piece of carbon fiber as you can see but I'll get on with that in just a few minutes. But like I said I was admiring my car and I thought to myself why not just go ahead and record a video and let you guys know everything that i've done to the car so far but first you're gonna hear a word from today's sponsor this video has been sponsored by oh yeah i don't have a sponsor but uh you know if you want to help your boy out and just give me a little sponsor Yeah, that was literally just for the aesthetics. But, like I was saying earlier, I've been admiring the car and she looks so good at this moment. But, let me go ahead and start off with this mod list. Actually, before I start off, I just wanna tell you guys, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, you might wanna go ahead and do so because I will be posting all kind of content with this car and she's gonna be making a great transformation within the next few weeks to a month or so. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. But. First things first, y'all didn't have to tell me that I had it zoomed in, but first things first is I actually did the grill first. It used to be like this pale plastic color, like a flat, almost black color, and I did not like that. I also did not like that these came like black. I think they were plastic dipped and they're supposed to be chrome. I would have kept this chrome, but like I said, they came black. So I just went on ahead, spray painted all of this gloss black as you can see and I did some whole patchwork from the front license plate you can see I did kind of mess that up some but I'm not really caring about that because one day this whole thing will be replaced by something that looks a little bit better and while I'm in the front I just want to show you guys that I did change out these emblems to carbon fiber ones and it's I don't think it's real carbon fiber but it does add a great look to the front of the car and I also have one on the back and one recent mod that I did to the car that not a lot of y'all are big fans of is I cut out the fake uh, hood vent things that they had and I didn't actually put anything right here just because I don't really care about stuff falling in here I don't think much is gonna fall in here but I know every now and then before I start my vehicle up I do pop my hood and make sure nothing's lodged in here or anything nothing's crawled in here and I mean that's gonna work for me I don't plan on putting any mesh in here just because I don't really want the look of that and plus the carbon fiber ones that I do plan on buying I don't believe they come with mesh either so why do it if I'm just gonna have to fix that again anyways I think that's pretty much it for the front of the car so moving along to the side of the car and the biggest most drastic change that you can see on the side would happen to be these wheels they are the XXR559 wheels I believe my front wheels are 19 by 8 and a half with a plus 20 offset and the rear is a 19 by 10 and a half with a plus 20 offset and as you can see they do poke just a little bit but I think it won't be that bad oh look at that reflection though but I think it won't be that bad once I lower the car because then it'll add a little bit of camber and the wheels just might tuck on these wheels I do have the Falcon what are they? Azenus or Azanus, however you say it. FK 510s. And in the rear, I have 285 with a 30 profile. And on the front, I have a 235 with a 35 profile. But I think I'm going to go with 245s whenever I change these out. Just because I don't like, like, I don't know about y'all, but I'm not a big fan of any kind of stretch. And this has not even a lot of stretch, but 
I believe a 245 would be better on these, in my opinion. But yeah, that's the side of the car pretty much. And moving on to the back of the car, I have my most recent mod and my best looking mod if you ask me, the Boost Tech Carbon Fiber Duck Bill Spoiler. And just look at the way it shines in the sun. Ooh, I like this a lot. For those of you who thought about getting this spoiler and thought it was going to be like some kind of knockoff or bad quality or something, uh, I recommend it. I like it a lot. Um, there are some imperfections in the spoiler that you can't notice unless you're right up on it. As you can see, I'm showing it to you. But uh, other than that, the spoiler looks kind of good and it's a great addition to the car. I have not yet done anything with the tail lights. As you can see, they're pretty stock-ish looking. But moving on to my exhaust. As of now, I only have this catback exhaust from CNT Racing. And I like the sound of it. I actually like the way it looks because of the four inch tips. The four inch tips look a lot better than any of the other like smaller tips. Like Stillen has, I believe, uh, three inch tips maybe. And the uh, other exhaust, I know they have like three to three and a half inch tips, but the CNT with the four inch tips, they look quite nicely on this car. And as far as sound, let me go ahead and let y'all listen to that. Yeah, so that pretty much wraps up what I've already done to the car. I don't think I've done any interior mods, unfortunately, but those are coming soon. But I have these that I have not told y'all about. These are actually my old downpipes, my art downpipes that came off of my 2010 Genesis. They should fit on Dawn over here, but the only reason I didn't put them on yet is because I do not have the test pipes. I actually sold those. So, I just ordered some more test pipes, foreshadowing, but this, uh, I forget which one is the driver's side, but whichever one is the driver's side has a bad flex pipe on it. So that's why I have this new flex pipe that I've ordered and it came in and I'm just waiting to get somebody to cut and weld this thing on so I can install this along with the test pipe that I just bought. So that video should be coming, I don't know, soon enough, soon enough. All right, so I just picked myself up something to eat from Taco Bell. Uh, I wish that I could have tried that chicken sandwich from Popeyes, but they did away with that, of course. Uh, Y'all people can't have anything good around here. At least it's supposed to be good. It's supposed to be rivaling Chick-fil-A. I was supposed to try that out, but unfortunately, like I said, I could not. So I got Taco Bell. Something just came up that uh, I have to take care of. And uh, I need to do that within the next like hour or so. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video up right here. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you like the direction I'm headed with the car and uh, like the content that I post, then go ahead and subscribe if you aren't already. Comment down in the section below. Let me know anywhere else that y'all would want me to try because there are a lot of things that I did not try as far as eating. And uh, yeah, also let me know what mods you guys would want me to do next. Like I said, I do have my test pipes ordered and I need to get my down pipes fixed or whatever, the flex pipe on them, and I'll be able to install that. So be looking forward to that. Bro, I'm like hungry. Yeah, so the interior of my car is kind of plain. So if you have any ideas of what y'all would like me to change in here, then just let me know that. But this is one thing that I am gonna be changing for sure. And it's my shift knob. Like, it's all like messed up and whatnot because of Every time you get in here, you have to shift the car when you're driving. But uh, yeah, it's kind of worn down. And plus, I would like the look of a carbon fiber and gunmetal shift knob. So if you find one, then just let me know that in the comment section. And go ahead and turn on those post notifications because, uh, I mean, I feel like a lot of y'all do like the videos and want to be notified whenever I do post something. So just go ahead and turn that on so you won't have any more problems with seeing the videos. And yeah, this is just about going to wrap this video up. So always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank y'all for watching. <laughs>